Ian Eagle joining me here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Cleveland's, you know, I guess it's ironic that they're resting. Um, they have yeah. pretty much the whole week off is because uh, at least six games we're going to get out of Milwaukee and Toronto. Um, with the Cavs, do you believe they are the best team in the East, Ian? Yeah, I, I've been fascinated by the points of view coming off this series. You get the one point of view, which is usually from former players, hey, you take a win any way it comes, you sweep a series, that means rest, this is all positive. And I can absolutely see that angle and agree with it. But the flip side is they could have easily lost three of those four games. They didn't play particularly well in certain stretches. I wouldn't call it a dominant series by any stretch. Indiana had opportunities. So the concerns that we had going into the playoffs regarding Cleveland, to me, are, are still there. Are they the best team in the Eastern Conference? They are. Absolutely. Is their defense where it once was? No. Uh, there was a stretch in that fourth quarter where I thought Indiana was going to score every time they touched the ball. They kept finding ways to score against Cleveland. They made that game very interesting. They forced Cleveland to work hard, but they earned it, and now they get the rest. The rest of the Eastern Conference, the way things are set up, it looks like Washington – if they get Jan Mahimi back, would have the most balance to maybe give this Cleveland team a run. Toronto has been hot and cold. Uh, when they are good, they can be very good. They went to the conference finals last year. But we've also seen a uh, couple of games where they can't find the rim. And that would concern me against Cleveland in a seven-game series. Boston... You know, I think Chicago did open up a can of worms with, with the Celtics. I would be very concerned about their lack of rebounding, and I think Cleveland would crush them on the boards. But I'm glad Boston has made this a series. I'm glad it's not a hollow number one seed. They had a great regular season and for Brad Stevens to pick up the kind of flack that he was getting based on the first two games. I, I thought that was unfair. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.